и господа. Мы готовы к посадке и просим вас убедиться, что ремень безопасности застегнут и затянут. Спинка кресла в вертикальном положении. Столик убран. Подлокотники опущены. Благодарим за внимание. Musical theater, town hall, Ohm River, that's where Ohms gets its name. So Omsk is located in the south of Siberia, not too far from Kazakhstanian border, not too far from Nur Sultan, where I just was uh, two, two weeks ago. Yeah. Let's not forget our comrade. Comrade Lenin's everywhere. crowded park. It's a Sunday night, that's why. And it's a beautiful summer day. We got shish kebabs. I think I'm gonna have some of this cloth. All right. So dear viewer, check this out. So here's Ohm River, and that big one, and the big one is Irtish. Again, this is my third time encountering your tish in a matter of uh, a one month. Because I encountered this river in Oskemen, Kazakhstan, then in Pavlodar the following day. And I'm here in Omsk. And guess what? It's your tish again. Good old your tish. This is a Shish kebab heaven. Lots and lots of it. 
Cloth. They got shawarma. Everything. Yes. Everything. Yeah. <laughs> Goes on and on and on. I guess I won't be hungry tonight. So this is Omsk, guys. I didn't know what to expect. It, so far, so good. Very pleasant. This part looks a little bit more civilized. Let's check this out. So Omsk is the second largest city uh, in Siberia after Novosibirsk. It's pretty big. Here comes the sun. What a sunset. Beautiful. What do you think this is, dear viewer? You'd probably say it's sushi. You're wrong. Because this here is not rice. This is a Russian salad called mimosa. It's like potatoes and some other stuff. Now, this fish is muksun which could be considered like a sashimi sushi style. So it's kind of like a um, Russian Siberian type of sushi. Instead of rice, they got potatoes and other vegetables. Alright, so while I'm working on my muksun here, for main course, I've just ordered this thing. This is called ster sterlet. Yeah, this thing, I'm gonna eat that one. They're actually gonna kill it for me right now. Yeah. All right, little guy, bye. There he is. Hey. Yeah, it's the same fish as that one. gonna do you know you're gonna make an omelet you gotta break a few eggs <laughs> sorry fish but I'm hungry Holmes Park at night Beautiful. It's really cool. Siberian pierogies, breakfast.
This may look like a metro station, but nope. It's just a pedestrian tunnel underneath this highway. So the city of Omsk decided to build a metro system a few years back. So they built this one station, then they decided, nah, we're not going to do it. So this is the one and only. So instead of the actual metro, they've built this semi-museum. That's where the station was supposed to be. But it never happened. Irtish River. Victory Bridge. City Beach on a Monday morning. Of course, I'm the only one here. Except for these guys. Oh, there's a pool. Monday morning in Omsk Beach. Oh my god, this beach sucks. Omsk is 200 years old, I guess. It says 200 on it. Tarski Gate. I don't know what it means. I just know the name of it. Let's see what it is. Tarski, 1799 or 92. Right, 200 years old, I was right. Stostoyevsky, he spent some years in prison in Omsk. So, this is the park that I went to last night. Yeah, I remember this church too. That's the restaurant where I ate last night. The fish place. So this is the place where the Omsk Fortress used to be. But it's not here anymore. Instead we've got Peter the Great. 
Back to the river. And this is called Tobolsky Gate. The gate to the Ons Fortress. Seventeen ninety four. All right. Welcome to Omsk now, the official Omsk. Bobs and Kvass in the park. Typical park lunch. Siberian jazz is like Mongolian funk. So this is the Omsk Philharmonic. I was just there. I was on that sailboat. Sailboat, that ship. That's the boat. Beautiful river. So I wanted to walk over this bridge. But this is freaking, this sign says I can't. Oh well, can't do it. Can't do it. Let's go somewhere else. Nice river, really nice river, I like it. It's a nice day. By the way, it's 420 right now, which is saying.
It says, 50 years of Soviet regime. I think it's coming back. A Lutheran church of the Urals, Siberia, and the Far East. Again, I didn't know there were Lutherans in Siberia. Apparently there are. And I'm going fishy again tonight. It's fish served on top of potatoes. I think it's local Omsk fish from Irtish River. With some local Russian wine. This is it, people. This is it. Let's say goodnight to Omsk. I say goodnight, Omsk. It was great. Let's move on to a, a new city. That's tomorrow. I've got a plane to catch. Hey y'all, welcome to Perm, it's a city in the Urals. So this part of town is called the Esplanade. That's the drama theater over there. And I believe this is like the government building that's responsible for the whole Permian region. Kama River. Kama Bridge. Uh oh. Are we at war? Oh my god. Russian army is no joke. This building is the main symbol of Perm. Local Heritage Museum. Cruise ships, river cruises that is.
So this is the river port. And that's the train station. On Somalski Avenue. This is the main avenue of the city. And over there I'm seeing a mosque and a church. Coexist everybody, coexist. There's the main symbol. I love Perm. This is not my first time here. I've been here like 10 times or something. So I just keep coming back here. It's a nice, lovely little town. Love it. This is my favorite spot. So I'm about to meet my friend Phil, he's from England, he lives here, so we're gonna go and start drinking right here in Partisan. So yeah, he's from the UK, he's been living in Russia for many years, like myself, teaches English like myself, and he's got a Russian wife, who is from Perm. That's why I keep coming back here, because of Phil. No, not really. All right, so it's almost sunset time. So here I am by the Kama River drinking with my Phil, my English friend. Welcome back to Perm. We, we've mentioned this before. I accidentally met him two years ago on the train. Um, what a small world. I never knew he was in Perm. And he never knew I was in Perm. And now we, we have this tradition of meeting up every year since, for the last three years, or the last two years, sorry. So we met last year and this year. Cheers guys, welcome to Perm. Cheers! So now we're at the Old Moose. Perm beers. No, it's like German beers actually. Look at all those beers. Lots of beers, yeah. But now we're gonna go to a different bar. Right, Phil? Just say right. Just say yes. Can I say power to the people? <laughs> yes, power to the people. <laughs> All right. Like this. So, uh, yes, uh, handsome barman and handsome uh, people here. Okay, hold on, hold on. Ah, okay. But this is what I wanted to show you, dear viewer. So I ordered the uh, barbecue wings, and this is the size that you get in Perm. Uh, no offense, no offense. Okay, the, the, I mean the price is pretty low. This is for all you uh, Nashville um, citizens, right? Okay, okay can I add to that? Come on, okay, show, go ahead. Show the videos. Okay. Show the videos. Okay. What he forgets to remember is that we're in the best fucking bar in Perm. Okay, it's a Tuesday night. It's fucking empty. I agree, but. You pay for quality. You pay for quality. Now, if you want to go to McDonald's or KFC, you're going to pay a lot less. A lot less. So, he chose the best fucking bar, Belgian bar, with the best Belgian beers on a Tuesday night. Yes, Bruges. Belgium. Bruges. Belgium. Bruges. Yeah. Bruges. And it doesn't look so bad, and it's still only about $10. Okay, well, if it's only about $10, then I'm going to stop complaining about the size. Let's just indulge, shall we? <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. 
nice, Phil. Phil's lost some weight, by the way. Phil's looking good. Phil's looking good. Nice job, Phil. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ha 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 ha! I gotta tell you, this guy's lost some serious weight. There's another bar. Perm is happening. Perm. Woo! Oh, this is cool. My buddy Phil is trying to score. <laughs> Yo, Phil. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, guys. This is pretty badass. I mean, come on, look at this cocktail. Good morning, dear viewer. I got a bit of a hangover, but I'm, I'm managing. So, this is the farmer's market. And this is the bus terminal. And I'm feeling okay-ish. Too many beers last night. Way too many beers. Permian Venice. So this area is called Motovilija, and that's the oldest part of Perm. That's where it all started. Oh, this guy's drowning. Are you drowning? No, he's okay.
Oh man, <laughs> sucks. I wouldn't want to be this guy. That's embarrassing. The name of this pond is Motovili High as well. Beautiful place. Firm Circus. I'm a big fan of trams. I don't know why, but I am. Alright, this guy's name is Tati Chef. He's the founder of Perm. This is the oldest part of town. This is where the town started. Right here, it's called Rasguliai. And of course the street here is called Lenin Street. Let's not forget Comrade Lenin. So Perm is almost 300 years old. And this sign here says that, how many days left? 305 days left before Perm turns 300 years old. So almost happy birthday, almost happy anniversary Perm. So that's gonna be next year, yeah.
Just my luck. I was here last year for two days and it rained. I'm here this year just for two days again and it rains again. That's it, Pierre. This is my last time. No more. I've had it. I've had it. <laughs> the Tower of Death. Why is this called the Tower of Death, you may ask? Very simple. That's where the KGB was located back in the day. And if somebody calls you in, you don't come out. The Tower of Death. KGB is no joke. There's Komsomolsky Avenue. That's a nice green building. I'm having goose. Phil, have you ever had goose? I have. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, it smells very good. It's great. <laughs> and uh, I'm enjoying my meal. I hope you guys enjoy your meals. Well, watch me eat, eat something too, dear viewer.
Good morning. This is my last day here in Perm. Hey, it's cold today. The weather's been really strange because two days ago it was really hot. Yesterday we had thunderstorms and today it's just freaking really cold. That's the restaurant where I ate last night. That was delicious. The goose. Mm, the goose was amazing. This neighborhood is called Balatovo. This is a working class neighborhood. It doesn't get more working class than that. neighborhood is called Pasantzi. I'm pretty far from the city center now. This is the furthest tram station. So it's like an industrial town here, look. All industry, all industry here. There used to be tram tracks going even further, but they're not there anymore because of low demand. A lot of these plants have closed down, so this is it. It's like Luke Oil City here. A city within a city. A whole Luke Oil universe. I mean, it's one of the biggest companies in Russia. This building is known as the book building because it kind of looks like an open book.
That's the main train station. Comrade, there he is, looking at me. So these tracks here are no longer in use. I don't know why. So I'm just going to walk on them. I'm pretty sure they're going to remove them completely because there's just no demand. These tracks lead to um, a lot of abandoned plants and factories which are no longer functioning, unfortunately. So, they lost their relevance. So I was here last year and the year before and tram number three is supposed to go here, but Tram number three has been removed, so I'm pretty sure these tracks will be as well. That's sad. Perm State University. That was the name of the stop. It still is, but no trams. Now, by the way, the terminal station that way. It's called the Red October. I'm not joking. So, I don't think I'm going to walk all the way to the Red October. That's kind of silly. So, that's just it then. Let's find something else to do. I love trams and trains. Anything but rails. Huge fan. This is the biggest crossroads of Perm Tram tracks. Yeah. And there's Kama River. All right, they're fixing the tracks. I like that. Musical theater, Tchaikovsky. Am 
my favorite purple flowers again. Siberian Street. That bear over there, that's the symbol of Perm. I guess they have bears. It's almost time to say goodbye to Perm. Goodbye Komsomolsky Avenue. And goodbye the main symbol. by Kama River. Last Supper in Perm. Aww. This is it. Sit here at the airport. This Italian place. Italiano. How oh, was it here? Nice new airport. That's it. Bye, Perm.